Grade 4 math, number 117, weeks, months, years, and leap years. We're going to go a little off track from math, but we need to do this to explain converting weeks and months and years. I have an old English poem for you. 30 days hath September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. February has 28 alone. Except in leap year, that's the time when February's days are 29. This poem helps you remember which days of the year, which months of the year have 30 days. So we know that September, April, June, November have 30 days. The other months have 31 days, and February has 28 or 29, depending on if it's leap year or not. So remember, one year is the time that the Earth goes around the sun one time, okay? One time. All right, well, in 2016, the month of February had 29 days because 2016 was a leap year. Leap year is every four years. That means the next one's going to be in the year 2020. These years, instead of 365 days, there's 366 days in the year. Leap year has one extra day added to keep the calendar year lined up with the seasonal year. If the extra day wasn't added every four years, the calendar would slowly drift over time. This is for what's called the Gregorian calendar. Now, there's a lot of different other types of calendars. There's the Julian, the Coptic, the Ethiopian, the Revised Julian. There's all these different types of calendars. We use what's called the Gregorian calendar, okay? So, to review what we covered in the last couple of videos, a minute has 60 seconds, an hour has 60 minutes, one day is 24 hours, one week is seven days, one year is 365 days, when it's not a leap year, and that's 52 weeks or 12 months. Now, we can convert years to weeks by multiplying by 52, because there's 52 weeks in every year. So we use this formula to help us multiply. So two years, we would multiply the two times the 52 weeks in each year, and we would get 104 weeks. And we could do it to three, four, five, six, just multiplying by 52. See? Now, we can convert weeks to years the other way around. We did years to weeks. We could do weeks to years the other way around by dividing by 52. So if you had 156 weeks and you wanted to know how many years it was, divide it by 52, that's how many weeks are in a year, and we'd know that it was three years. We can also convert years to months because there's 12 months in a year. All we have to do is multiply by 12. One year is 12 months, so two years would be two times the 12 months, 24 months. We can also flip it around and instead of years to months, do months to years by dividing by 12. So if something is 36 months long, we divide it by the 12 months in a year, and we know that it's three years. Sometimes you'll hear someone say, oh, my baby is 18 months. Well, that's a year and a half old, because if we divide by 12, we'd see that it's one and a half. See? 48 months divided by 12 months of a year is four years. We can do the same thing to weeks and days. One week is seven days, so if we have two weeks, we multiply it by the seven days, and we get 14 days. Three weeks would be three times the seven days. That would be 21 days. And we can flip that around and do days to weeks. If you have 14 days, you divide by seven, and then we know it's two weeks. 28 days divided by seven days of a week would be four weeks. So we can convert the weeks and days back and forth the weeks and months and years back and forth to find out what their value is. And now you know that September, April, June, November are the months that have 30 days and all the rest have 31 except February. That has 28 or 29 during leap year. I'll see you in the next video. We're going to continue talking about measuring and we're going to do some problem solving with time. See you there. Bye.